As he got another hit on his hands, here's arts editor Dennis Cunningham with the answer. Oh, Roland, uh, Ballroom Central Plot is the story of a mousy, quiet-living widow finally starting to live fully again at a place sort of like Roseland called the Stardust Ballroom. Ballroom is a big, lavish musical with no intermission based on Queen of the Starlight Ballroom, a little intimate television drama. Now, there's a problem already. The story is really too small and personal and slight to support a big musical to-do. Not that Ballroom is a flop, by no means. It is, however, a musical that never really catches fire, that never takes off and soars. Well, it did actually once tonight, about three quarters of the way in, in a vibrant, exciting disco number. The audience went absolutely berserk, possibly because, uh, certainly because they'd been waiting for that release, for that up, for quite a while. The music is good to very good, so too the lyrics and orchestrations, the exceptional sets, lighting, costuming, along with Michael Bennett's superb staging, conspire to offer some lovely theater magic. The performers, singing, dancing, acting, do their level, engaging, thoroughly professional best. If you ever need a refrigerator or anything like that, he'll give it to you for cost. Just don't get trapped in the stock room. <sighs> Beef, this is Scooter, the claw machine. <laughs> Am I going to get to dance with you, Anjo? If light feet doesn't make it... Tell your friend here, am I lying? I would buy this woman anything she wants. Cars, jewelry, furs. Everything I have is hers if she don't even look my way. Once. Oh, Angie, he's crazy about you. Yeah. He went bankrupt two months ago. <laughs> but... Ballroom right now is, I'm convinced, as good a musical as it could possibly be. But that slight, even trivial storyline at the heart of the play is its undoing. It's what makes Ballroom a near hit. John? It's a big success. It's director and choreographer of Chorus Line. Now he has a new production that opened at the Majestic Theater on Broadway this evening. It also has to do with dancing. It's called Ballroom, and Pia tells us it's based on a, a TV production called The Queen of the Stardust Ballroom. That's is that it. right? You got it. <laughs> this is a kind of a chorus line for senior citizens, a mythological ballroom where elderly shopkeepers, waitresses, and clerks turn into Fred Astaire's and Ginger Rogers, a fantasy that would have us believe that a sad, drab, lonely widow will metamorphize into a shimmering white queen of the ball in the arms of a mailman doing the cha-cha-cha. Dorothy Loudon is adorable, genuine, and unaffected as the grandmother who is persuaded to go to the ballroom where the people may have one foot in the grave, but the other is doing the mambo. They are all fabulously dressed by Theone Aldridge, and this is explained as they spend every penny on clothes and then go home and eat dog food. Well, it is a fairy tale. Vincent Gardenia plays the man she meets, not a prince, but a chubby mailman who says he took a lot of self-improvement courses until he discovered that all his brains were in his feet. When her relatives find out that she is dancing the night away with a mailman, one says, a mailman? A mailman? You'd think he'd want to sit down at night. Well, they don't sit down. They dance and they dance and they dance and they dance, and I got pretty bored with it all. There is one terrific hustle number, however, but the action is predictable, the music ordinary ballroom variety, the lyrics banal and filled with soggy sentiments about trusting in your dreams. Dorothy Loudon manages to rise above all this mushy feeling to spark her character with a charming vitality. Ballroom is a rather affectionate and leisurely tribute to those who believe that dance is therapy for the lonely and the lost.